Hello YouTube, uh, it's Annie. It's been a while um, since I made a video. If you subscribe to my channel, you know that. But in general, it's been a while since I made any soap, really. Um, all the soaps I have been making are just restocked, so I don't do a video for that. But I truly have only one soap in my curing rack right now, so... <laughs> It's been uh, not that much soap going on. I've been doing a lot of liquid soaps uh, and cream soaps, but nothing video worthy, or even if you're on my Instagram, nothing really photo worthy either. So that's been weird, but um, I'm back today with, this is my, not my Castile soap. This is um, that other recipe I did for the Upside Down in my Stranger Things series, which contains, it's still heavy on the olive oil, uh, there's coconut oil in there, there's a lot of shea butter, and there's lard and argan oil and some rice bran oil in my micas here. I just stirred in uh, my scent blend. It is a mixture of spearmint and peppermint essential oils with a cinnamon fragrance, and I am going to call it what's in the bottom of grandma's purse. <laughs> Because um, if your grandma's anything like mine, or I think most grandmothers, they've always got little peppermints and like cinnamon hard candies in their purse. So um, I really wanted to make a soap with that blend. Um, I got inspired to do it today, and I thought that's a good name for it. I am getting a little thick here. Not super thick, but I'm soaping warmer than I normally do. The goal was to do a hanger swirl or a drop swirl if it gets too thick to hanger swirl. All the times I've done hanger swirls, they were kind of an accidental well, I better put a hanger through that so it isn't completely ugly. Um, but I've never like really gone into it and said, hey, I'm gonna do a hanger swirl. I guess one I did, my strawberry um, field soap I did, I guess. But I'm still thinking I might be able to do a hanger swirl. We are getting thick though, and it might gel. It would be kind of interesting if it gels. Uh, the colors I have here, I'm stirring in my gold. It's staying pretty fluid when I'm stirring it. So yeah, we'll try the hanger, unless it decides to really thicken up in the next minute or two. Uh, I've got gold mica. I've got my red clay mica, which is like a deep coppery bronze. Yeah. I've got my light green. I'm actually going to stir in my dark green first. This is my evergreen green mica which does lean pretty silvery blue uh, once it's saponified, but I still really like it. And then here is my uh, Granny Smith Apple Green Mica. And my plan here is to lay down a base of just uncolored soap. Um, kind of do drop swirls of each shade on each side of the mold, and then kind of just swirl it. So here I'm actually going to put it sideways for now. Me. Yeah, we're getting thick, but we're not super duper thick. This is what happens when you soak warm and without just olive oil, guys. You probably know that already. Just getting this out into the mold here. It smells really good. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm awfully congested. Um, Tesla and I have been kind of sick lately. Um, so while I can't smell much, I can smell can smell this. It smells really yummy. The cinnamon fragrance, because cinnamon essential oil can be really sensitizing. And I don't want to put a large amount of that in soap because it can hurt your skin. Um, I don't want to make soap that hurts your skin. Um, but the cinnamon fragrance is very, like, a, just pure cinnamon. It's a, one of those strong ones that you don't need a lot of um, to get the scent across. We are getting thick. I don't know if we'll be able to do the hanger or not. Might be worth a shot. Um, but it does have that bit of a spiciness too, like a cinnamon candy, which I'm obsessed with cinnamon candies. Love them. It smells really good with the mint too. But it's not overpoweringly cinnamon either. Okay. We're pretty thick here. I don't know if anything's even gonna go in when I pour it in. I'm kind of just, can't, can't get it out of my cup. Yeah, it's like we're doing a spoon plop <laughs> instead of, um, I don't know, I might hang her it anyway, but it is definitely thick. Okay, still want it to be staggered. 
Oh no. I hate when I get soap in between the silicone and the wooden mold. I'm just flinging it, so of course it's going everywhere. Dark green. Yeah, if I would have soaked at room temperature, I'd be super fluid right now. But for one, I'm impatient, and for two, I kind of wanted to see if it'll gel on me. Curious. I'm still gonna run a hanger through it, I decided, because I don't want it to be just plain white on the bottom. just I woke up today and was like man I really want to make some soap I haven't really had a whole lot of ideas uh, well that's a lie I always have ideas but the ideas for soap that I want to do I either don't have the supplies for I don't have any money to get the supplies right now or they're all spring ideas and it's November and I'm not trying to start my spring soaps at least till Christmas is out of the way I figure I can start in January or February and at least get them going at that point um, but not November, I'm sorry, just too soon. Okay, we're thick all right. I was hoping we weren't gonna get this thick, but it's warm. I'm gonna insulate it and see if we get some jelly going on. Oh, another splooch. Bold, that's for sure. I did use a lot of mica. refreshing. It's almost opening my sinuses up a little bit, which I am very much enjoying. I've taken Tesla to the YMCA so I can, mostly so we can get out of the house, but I've been trying to, you know, do a little bit of exercising and whatnot, but the problem with that is she's exposed to a bunch of other children who are getting her sick, which are getting me sick. So we've been members of the Y for like two months now, and she's been sick once a month. It sucks, because it lasts a week, but it's going to happen eventually. I mean, she'll be like that when she's in school, so what are you going to do, right? But this mintiness is really kind of opening my sinuses up, so I appreciate that. Whew, all right, well, that's all in there, as messy as could be, but that's okay. Definitely thick, definitely, definitely thick. Let me wet my hand here. Whoop. Get you in better view. And yeah, I that would have I should have known it was gonna get this thick. I wouldn't have uh, left all that uncolored at the bottom. But I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of try to swirl it up a, a wee bit here. Did not give me any air bubbles. It might have. I'm gonna tap her out here. You know that shook camera. I apologize about that. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. 
pull up, clean the sides up. I did want to do a little bit of a drizzle. Where does my drizzle? Here it is. My tiny last bits of my black and gold mica that I just love, love, love. I'm going to put it on everything. Tap that out again. I'm getting weird I'm getting little pockets because it's so thick. Oops. There we go. That's settled a bit. Ooh. Yep, it's still going to be cream colored at the bottom. I know I didn't get that blended very well with the hanger. Dang it. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do though, right? Um, let me clean up the edge just real quick. I'll hold it up for you guys. Definitely be able to cut this bad boy tomorrow. It still feels quite warm. I don't know if I'm gonna get a full gel or not. Like I said, the only other time I did this recipe, it was at totally, totally room temperature, like 68 degrees, so it did not get hot. It also did not speed up. Um, but I'm really kind of curious anyways, but I've got, the colors are pretty earthy and nice, and it smells delicious, so okay. All right, this is what is inside the bottom of grandma's purse. <laughs> I'll check in with you tomorrow when we cut her open and see what it looks like. All right, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm um, very excited to cut into this. What's at the bottom of grandma's purse? <laughs> As you can see, totally, oops, that's the chunk of other soap. Um, white on the bottom, swirls on the top. Um, the more I think about it, though, I think it's still going to look pretty cool. So I'm not fretting that I did a, you know, uncolored base layer. Uh, hopefully the plopping and the hanger does give me some pretty cool designs. Um, I will say also, um, my soap was about 100 degrees. After I shut my camera off, I um, took my little infrared guy and poked it, and it said about 100. And I thought, you know, I don't want a gel ring. I don't like a gel ring, so I just turn on my oven to 170 and put it in there, silicone, wood, the whole thing, just threw the whole thing in there. Um, I shut the oven off about half an hour later, just kind of let it sit in there until I went to bed. It was like 11, and it was still warm at that point, but it did gel. Um, I didn't notice it till this morning, like tiny little, barely little baby cracks on top, but not enough to like, bug me or anything like that, but it didn't get totally transparent like a lot of gelled soaps do. So I wasn't sure. I'm, all, I'm not, I mean, if you watch my channel, you know that I'm not a geller, um, but it did, it did in fact gel. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. And that's the end, so there isn't as much color in that area. And see how that, that evergreen green mica turns quite like a slate color. I, I really like it, but it's not super duper green. Uh, but I think the colors go really nicely together. And I did get some cool hanger designs. All right. Mmm, smells so yummy. Because I had it in the oven yesterday, every time I came down to check on it, the aroma was just filling the whole entire downstairs and I could breathe while I was down here. I could just feel my sinuses open right up. It was incredible. All right. Super curious of the patterns I'm gonna get here. All right, interesting. It kind of reminds me of a feather, sorta. Mm -hmm. Cool. Colors really are popping with the gel. When I gel my Castile, you can't even tell that I gelled it. It doesn't look any different at all. It really does not. But that does pop. You can see the sparkle and everything. So yeah, maybe when I do this recipe, I'll just prepare for it to be a little bit thicker. Um, I did do a tiny, tiny water discount. I don't think I mentioned that yesterday. <clears throat> but maybe I'll gel it on purpose. Or if I want to gel it, I'll use this recipe. Ooh, it's turning out more interesting than I expected it to. Not super strong 
marks from um, the hanger, but it is noticeable. Cool. <clears throat> Boy, it's good to, good to get back to making soap for such a long break. Interesting. A very green heavy portion. Still some gold and some copper in there, though. Beautiful. I went all random with the hanger as well. I just kind of went crazy with it. Wouldn't be able to recreate that if I tried. <clears throat> I love the top too, that subtle sparkle, that mica, it's beautiful. Alright. Mm, pardon me, excuse me. Mm. Nice. Everybody thought the name was clever too, which made me happy. I was proud of myself on that one. It's always good to know that when you do something that you appreciate and you think others will, that they actually do. <laughs> they don't think it's weird or stupid. I mean, somebody might have thought that, but they didn't tell me. That's an interesting one. You can tell I really plopped that golden green in there, in that part. Totally not how I planned it going. Did get quite thick, but I'm not mad. From what I understand, the lard that I have behaves much more differently than a commercially processed lard or a lard that you would get at maybe a butcher's. Um, I've only ever used this lard in my life. I've never gotten it from a butcher or anything like that. Ooh, a lot of air bubbles at the top on this end here. Um, Anyways, I bring that up because even when I made my bacon soap and I rendered that bacon fat and I clarified it, I clarified it myself twice, that was so fluid. That was the most, some of the most fluid I've ever, you know, fluid soap that I've ever experienced. And that cured to be rock hard. Like you couldn't even dent it with your fingernail. It was so hard. Um, here's that end guy. But my lard speeds up. It goes real fast. Um, and I think that might just be because it's like fresh off of a pig or something. So here we are, there's some top ones. We got a little bit of glitter going. I get some photos for you and put them at the end of this video. I thank you for watching. Um, sorry I've been keeping you waiting. If you were waiting for another video from me, I just haven't had anything uh, worth taping for you guys. But hopefully after the holidays, I'm going to really bump into some spring soaps and everything. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.